Hello and welcome to Good Morning Glory. I'm Jim Dodds and live here from my mother's shed. The top stories this week. Nicola Sturgeon hints at bringing Hadrian's Wall back into commission. The Kim is dead! Question mark. A vast drop in crime statistics. UK lockdown. A new arrival at number 10. Sports news and we see how people have fared throughout this ordeal. On to our first story now. Nicola Sturgeon has been reported to have said that they would look at closing the border between Scotland and England should England ease lockdown restrictions too early. An anonymous central government official has said, I didn't know parish councils had that sort of power. In other Scottish news, Nicola Sturgeon has been rumoured to have quietened independence plans since the price of oil has dropped well below the price of Buckfast, the national drink of Scotland, made in Devon. Halfway on the planet now, rumours coming out of North Korea is that Kim Jong-un has died during a heart operation. The surgeon, who we couldn't speak to for obvious reasons, also sadly died during the operation. However, Doug Swan has the up-to-date bookies predictions for the top job and where to find the best prices. Doug? King John Doom is in at 6 to 4. Jean Claude Jonker is in at 9 to 4. Jeremy Corbyn comes in at 3 to 1. Jerry Adams, 15 to 4. And Piers Morgan at 50 to 1. Back to you, Jim. Thanks, Doug. While there is growing optimism around the change of leadership, ex Liberal Democrat leader Joe Swinson was said to be disappointed that yet again a woman isn't in the running for the leadership. Back to Corona now. Doug Swan has been earning his paycheck collating all the information regarding the recent lockdown. And Doug, on the whole, they're looking much better than we predicted, correct? Well, yes and no, Jim. According to Pretty Patel, crimes such as shoplifting and buggery have drastically fallen, which the government has proudly attributed to themselves, and not the coincidental nature of shops being closed and people staying vigilant in their homes though they may be hit with a rude awakening when the newest figure for child truancy comes out next week. Thanks, Doug. Whilst crime levels are at an all-time low, tensions are rising as patience wears thin regarding this lockdown. With an extra view of the lockdown not due until the 7th of May, we got in touch with the Justice Secretary who had this to say. Thank fuck it's pissing it down. Meanwhile, former Shadow Home Secretary Diane Abbott has been on an expedition across Scotland searching for the lockdown monster. She may be there sometime. It's a boy! Yes, Boris and Carrie have had their first child together, shortly after the PM left intensive care. He has since recovered very well and got back to business. Doug, I believe you put together a list of things Boris has more kids than they have certain things. Uh, yes, Jim. So Boris has six kids officially, but we estimate he actually has more than the Lib Dems have MPs. We all know he has more than Liverpool have Premier League titles, and he certainly has more children than Piers Morgan has viewers. Thanks, Doug. Sport now. And whilst leagues around Europe are both suspended and being cancelled, Belarus has kept their league going much to the delight of sports fans and gamblers alike. Belarusian football is not known for its quality of goals, but more for its 1980s style of tackling. The Cup semi-final second legs were played on Wednesday as Dynamo Brest and Bate Borisov progressed to the final 4-4 and 2-1 in aggregate respectively. The goals were irrelevant for fans though, as Shakhtar were edged 4-3 on yellow cards as Dynamo Brest flew into late challenges, and with a late flurry of cards, Bait Borisov beat Slavia Morzi 4-3 on the yellows count. Unfortunately, there were no straight reds this week, but that should resume to normal soon. Finally, we end today's show looking at how some people are coping with the current way of the world. While some, like Captain or now Colonel Tom Moore, have raised millions for charities and have made the most of their time in lockdown, other major celebrities have ultimately tried to make it all about them. Piers Morgan frothing at the mouth trying to become the de facto Prime Minister, Sam Smith struggling to come to terms having to play in his £12 million mansion, or Madonna, who seems to have gone completely senile as she posts a video looking like she's shitting in a bath. I've been Jim Dodds. 
Till next time. And I've been Doug Swan. Good morning. Glory.